So in this video, we're going to look at a tool that we created for a client in Microsoft Excel. And the great thing about this tool is it actually uses several different features in Excel that we're going to cover and we're going to show you how it works to create a uh, very automated workflow. Uh, we're taking a process that our particular client is, uh, is in the uh, personal training industry and uh, taking this meal like a meal plan form here from a very manual based um, data entry process to a very automated workflow that's going to help him fill this out in like no time and then there's actually three forms in this so there's this meal plan and it has all these elements down through different uh, numbers of meals post-workout meal uh, you can add in supplements here and then have the totals and these are all calculations here So it's going to be actual total grams of carbs fat protein and then the total calories, but it's also going to be calories by uh, each macro and that's a calculation in a um, Formula in these cells and then also the percent of total calories another formula. So there's a lot of formulas in this tool there's there are drop downs we'll get into this in a little bit there's drop down uh, data validation list so this has particular like food group categories and then a dependent drop down in these uh, in this column here that's uh, basically dependent on your selection in this particular uh, column which you can see here we've um, narrowed that down to eggs and so you can select only egg uh, foods from based on the food group that's selected here and one of the things that helps do is not only does it really help kind of improve and innovate the workflow but you can imagine with the number of selection of foods this list this drop down list alone could be so long that it almost makes that counterproductive and so not only is it about the automation of kind of eliminating the actual manual typing and manual data entry here these can actually be controlled so they're linked to lookups in another table so it kind of remedies against like typos or any other any other kind of just manual data entry errors or omissions that might cause problems here and you know they won't have to fill in their own values here this is actually the only manual part of this is this the quantity so if we put quantity one these start to fill in automatically because of formulas and then it updates this total here but anyway uh, that's just that part of it there's also some VBA involved in the background that's going to allow the the client to export this form as a PDF and so not only does it allow them to save it as a PDF that we've predefined like the file naming convention to it will pass the name of the client into that file name dynamically so there's a variable that gets set to this particular cell value so you don't have to type out the the file name all this stuff has been automated and then beyond that we even have allowed our client to attach that pdf to an outlook email and send that out right away if he would like to so we'll show you that uh, also there's some elements here some navigation elements even though there's tabs here you can actually go to other elements or other worksheets in this workbook and so we have this uh, client letter that goes out and it's been pre-formatted and then we've got all this information that gets pre-populated from these values being passed directly to it so it allows the the personal trainer not to have to redo the same process multiple times and of course you can see here some values in this table these are totals that come from the input form and uh, go into this table and this is one of the elements that our client wanted to have in this introduction letter to go out so once he's done filling out the new the uh, input form or this you know this nutrition form uh, this would be populated and he can send that out sort of as a high level uh, look for his client to say here's what here's what your macronutrient breakdown your calorie breakdown is going to be per meal per day and then you have the totals here then the one last uh, item in this workbook that the client, our client, um, requested was this uh, worksheet here, I guess, if you will. And again, we've got client name, weight, height, all these values that actually come from the input form. And so that gets passed directly. Again, it allows our client to continue on with this form without repeating the same steps over and over again. 
And so there's all of these little tables here that have uh, formulas that get calculated based on these values and a couple of other things here. So we have some conditional formatting that points out to the user, hey, you need to fill these in. The gray fields themselves get automatically filled. But once we get that filled in, I'll show you, you come over here and you have to manually uh, input these values. And then you also have to manually input what's the caloric goal and then what's the breakdown and percentage. Uh, fats, carbs, and protein, and then when this becomes 100%, that changes over uh, with a white background rather than having that sort of uh, warning with the pink uh, background telling uh, telling the user, hey, you need to get this to 100%. And then these are all formulas as, as well that fill in accordingly uh, based on these values that get keyed in. And then uh, there is actually a pie chart here that starts to fill in once you start putting these values in. So let's go back to the input form. And I'll start to fill some of this out. I'm just going to use a function here, kind of cheat and save some time, put in today's date. I'll put my name. Um, then I will do my age, weight, height, and then blood type, of course. And okay, so we filled out that part of the uh, patient, or not the patient, but the um, the client's vitals. And then if we go over here, let's just double check the client letter automatically pre-populates with that data. If we go over to the BMR sheet, again, same thing here that gets done automatically for the user of the uh, workbook of this tool. So let's go back to the input form. Let's add a few more things. We'll go down to meal two and we'll add something here uh, from the beef, lamb and pork uh, category. We'll just do something like that. Maybe change the quantity to two. And so now we've got a little more data here and you can see that that's going to be a total right now, 47 grams of fat for the day, 50 grams of protein for a total of 623 calories. And then here's the actual um, caloric breakdown per macronutrient. That's 423 calories from fat. That's 200 uh, calories by protein. And this is the percent of the total uh, calories. So all these are calculated by formulas that we've already put in these uh, in these cells. So now let's go to the client letter. You can see now we've added, since we've added that data for the meal two, it now has data there. That's also calculated uh, with formulas as well. And then if we go over to the BMR sheet, um, let's go ahead and say we need to put in an activity level of 1.5. And once we do that, it turns gray now that we've got the data filled in. And then we put in body fat, uh, we've got that. And notice how all these calculations are now being made in all these different formulas. So that all fills in nicely. Now we need to put in our caloric goal, let's say 1800. And now that changes over to a white background now that you've actually filled that in. Let's do our uh, percentages on uh, macronutrients and we need to make that 100%. Once that becomes 100%, of course that fills in nicely with um, with a white background noting that hey we're good to go you don't need to address this with um, fixing these percentages so we've got these calculations now calories by fat carbs and proteins and then total grams and that's just a percentage uh, breakdown based on an 18 I, i'm sorry 1800 uh, caloric goal for the day and then here's our pie chart just to kind of visualize what's already going on there and so let's go back to the input form. And the next thing I wanted to show you was let's export this as a PDF. So we'll click on that export to PDF button and we have hard coded um, a predefined file path for where we want to save this. And so we'll click OK. And then it's also going another part of the workflow in that actual macro is going to ask us, hey, do you want to send this form as a PDF in an email right now? We're going to go ahead and click no just for this particular case. And then I'm going to open up that folder and I'm going to see our files here. And again, it's through a variable in the actual VBA that macro we ran to export this to PDF. It took the value from that input form where we put in the client's name and added that as a part of the file name. And then this part nutrition plan is hard coded. So we know what form from that particular tool that contains three forms. This actually got uh, or actually got converted to PDF 
And then it's uh, set up to actually timestamp it, date stamp it on the day that it was created. So if I open this up, let's take a look at it. And here's our form. And so it looks just the same as it was in Excel, but now it's actually PDF. And you can zoom in and see that a little bit better. Got all the values there. And now you've just got a static version of that in PDF. And so let me close, let, let me get out of that. So let's go back to our workbook. And let's go to the next part of the workflow. We'll go to the uh, client letter. And so in this particular case, I do want to generate a PDF again, but I also want to go ahead and just email this off to the client because th this is their introduction letter. So let me go ahead and click on export PDF. So this particular uh, macro is tailored just to this particular form in the workbook. So this isn't the same exact um, macro it's been adapted to this particular situation so and and the only reason that is is because we're using a different file name and that kind of thing so it's just a minor detail but went ahead and just set that up as a separate uh, macro so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and it's gonna ask me if I want to send this in an email right now I'm gonna say yes obviously and in this particular case, there's a couple of things that we went ahead and coded into the actual macro. That would be the subject line and then the attachment. We, we uh, went ahead and made sure that the PDF gets pre-attached to the Outlook email. Now, we could have also coded in to pass in the recipient email address. That's totally possible. And we also could have... Uh, passed in a canned message body if we wanted to. So that's totally possible as well. In this particular case, we left it um, open. And then also notice here that in the subject line, we've also passed that value for the client to personalize it. So we'll just go ahead and close that. I don't want to save the changes, but I do want to go to the formula, or I'm sorry, the folder, not the formula. Uh, and notice here we've got now that new PDF and it's actually been named as welcome letter. So this is just one of the things that we've done and we've hard coded into the macro to kind of be able to differentiate between the two different files. And if I go ahead and cl double click that and open it, it will now open up that letter for me in PDF form. So this is now a PDF. So if I hop back over here to our file, we've already covered the BMR sheet. That's all good, but we can also export that to PDF. So we're going to do that. I'll show you that. So I'll go back to my folder and notice here we've got BMR maintenance, but it's same naming convention. So everything's very contiguous or maybe the better word for it is it has continuity. Uh, and then I can open that and then we can see that. So I zoom in a little bit. So everything's in PDF form there. So same difference. And then uh, if we go back to the file, one last detail I wanted to show you was to be able to reuse this. We'll go back to the input form and then there's this clear form button that clears everything out and makes this available for use for the next client. So we'll clear the form. We'll click on that button. It takes a few seconds there. It clears everything from this sheet, clears everything from our tables here for the meals, clears our totals, obviously. And then if you go over to the uh, client letter, everything's been cleared from here. Everything's back at zero. And then also if we go over to the BMR sheet, everything's been cleared from here and it's ready to go. It's ready to start right on over. So I just wanted to uh, show you that. That's a, a, a great tool, a great business case for using Excel for very unspreadsheet like workflow and through the use of different elements like these buttons linking your worksheets so that you can navigate around the workbook without having to you know, use the tabs. Uh, we used the drop downs and the dependent drop downs. We've used conditional formatting to alert the user to fields that need to be filled in and then formulas obviously as well. And then getting to the macros, we can export these uh, worksheets as PDFs and they can actually be attached or uh, pre-attached to an Outlook email with uh, pre-filled subject line and also you can actually pre-fill the recipient email addresses as well as the body of the email. So thanks for watching.